<laughs> On Christmas Day, these scientists watch their life's work launch into space. The James Webb Space Telescope was finally off, but there was still a perilous journey ahead. I've been describing this as the 14 days of terror, but really it's been 14 days of joy uh, because the, the whole process went uh, flawlessly. After launch, there were exactly 344 things that could have gone wrong. One failure and the entire mission would have been disrupted, but it worked. It'll take about six months of calibrating and testing before scientific data can finally start flowing back to Earth. I'm ecstatic. This is such an amazing opportunity. This Edmonton astronomer's research will use the telescope's ability to see infrared light. Until now, clouds of stellar soot blocked astronomers from getting a good look at the Triangulum Galaxy. We'll see clearer and more detailed pictures, but we'll also get this new view that was inaccessible to Hubble by basically seeing through this material. It's like looking through a fog for the first time. We don't know what this Quebec astronomer will be using her time with the telescope to determine whether planets in the TRAPPIST-1 solar system have an atmosphere. If they do have an atmosphere, then that means there may, there may be a chance to, to look for traces of life on, in those atmospheres. We know on Earth we need an atmosphere to, to live, basically. Okay. So While right she says it's all very exciting, there's a lot of pressure, like, too. It is, like, very stressful, I have, to, I, have, I have to admit. No one has ever worked with a telescope like this before. The James Webb will literally look back in time more than 13.5 billion years, all the way back to the first galaxies that formed. We only have very limited information on this part of the universe because previous telescopes just haven't been able to see there. This cosmic eye is bound to see things that will alter our very understanding of the universe. There's going to be a huge number of surprises that come back from this telescope. It really is set up to kind of open discovery space and find things that we weren't expecting to find. Jayla Bernstein, CBC News, Montreal.